Hey everyone, so welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on this right here. I don't know if you can see that. It is the Elite Collection Mirror Finish Artiste Oval 7 brush. I mean, I'm sure y'all have heard about these. I was kind of on the fence about buying these or not. I mean, I've seen them around and I've seen them on Instagram and everybody was using them and everybody actually liked them. The only thing is the price. These are really expensive. This one cost me... This one is actually usually 60 bucks. I got an actual, I got a $10 off discount, so it cost me only 50. So they're pretty pricey. The whole set is like around $300 or more for the gold one and the silver one. I think it's around that, around the same price too. So I was really on the fence about getting them, but I thought, let me just go ahead and try it. Cause I think they just recently came out with the Oval 7. I believe there's an Oval 8 that was a little bit bigger that everybody originally was getting for all over the face. So when this one came out, I thought, you know, maybe I'll go ahead and try it. So I bought it and so we're going to go ahead and see what the hype is all about. So it comes in that packaging as I've sh shown you and it comes like this inside and you just kind of pop it off and this is what it looks like. Oops. And this is what it looks like. It really looks like a huge toothbrush. And I thought from pictures and stuff that I've seen, I thought it was going to be really heavy. But it's like really, really, really light. So that is what it looks like. It's very, very dense. And this, just rubbing it on my palm, it is the softest thing ever. I'm like, that feels so good. It's so soft. I can't wait to use this. So. Anyways. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. I've already applied. I've already applied um, my face primer. I use the Smashbox um, primer water, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use. Grab some of my foundation. Today I'm gonna be using the Derma Blend Liquid Smooth Camo Foundation, and it's in the color Camel. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of that onto my hand, and then I've seen that a lot of people said you should just dot it on your face first so I'm gonna go ahead and just dot it and they say a little bit goes a long way with this brush so we'll see how much coverage this gives me So I did three dot so I did three dots right here, four on each cheek, and one right here on my chin, and one right here on my nose. Right now I have a little bit of a breakout going on. It's just a mess. So hopefully this does its job and it does cover it. So here we go. Um what I've seen is everybody is just kind of like gliding it across. You don't really pat with this, so you just glide it across, which is really interesting to me because I feel like that's just like not going to give you the best coverage but what I've seen in other videos I mean it really does give you a really good coverage so I don't know how that works but we'll see wow do you see that people I mean look at that like it is giving me such good coverage and I'm I'm telling you I thought that was gonna be it's like just really weird that it would give me good coverage I really don't even understand how this is working it's like giving me such a smooth and blended coverage. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have to apply it maybe like one or two dots up here just so I have coverage there. So I really don't put any there.
really like this because you can really get right around your brows if you do your brows before your foundation and everything. You can get right close to it. You don't have to worry about messing up your brows. So I am all finished and the amount of time it took me to blend all of this out was like not even five minutes. So that is amazing because applying your foundation kind of takes a little bit of time because you have to blend everything out, make sure it's all even and nice and blended and with this I mean it does pretty much all the work for you. And like I said, I mean, look at the coverage that it's given up my face. I have freckles and I have a little bit of discoloration because of, you know, acne scars and that kind of stuff, especially on this side. I had a pimple right here under my lip and right here. It pretty much kind of covered that really, really well, even without concealer. And I'm telling you, this is an amazing, an amazing tool. I mean, can you see how well this worked and in such a little amount of time and the feel of this on your face is like I mean this could put me to sleep it is so soft it doesn't tug on your skin because especially if things tug on your skin kind of um, helps with adding wrinkles to your face so I definitely didn't want anything like that I'm literally still so stunned of how well this worked on my face and with my um, foundation this is in Incredible. I cannot, I'm literally just, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I just don't even know. I don't even know what else to say. This is amazing. And this little one is so neat and just like the perfect size for your face. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I'll come right back. So I've added some concealer because I want to see how this will work with concealer. So I added it to the Cupid's bow, bridge of my nose, the forehead, and under my eyes. So we're going to go ahead and see. How well that works with that. So there, with my concealer all blended out, honestly, I knew it would do a great job again. I mean, I'm not, not even gonna be surprised anymore. This is like a miracle worker. I mean, it does everything for you. It blends it out, gives you the coverage that you want. I mean, and it's just, it goes by so quickly. This like cuts down your application time by so much, if not in half. That's crazy. So, so for my cream contour, I want to see how that, how well it does with that, because I've heard you can use this kind of brush or all of the brushes they come out with for multiple purposes. So I want to see how it does with blending out some cream contour. I'm using the Smashbox Step by Step Contour Stick in the color Contour. I think there's it's in that little three pack. So I'm using the contour color.
I'm literally still just speechless over this brush. It is doing everything and anything. I mean, what more could you want when a brush does pretty much everything you need? It's crazy. I mean, look at how blended that is. I love it. Can't wait to keep using this even more. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up the rest of my face because I don't think I'm gonna use this for anything else. Really, I don't even think I'm gonna use it for my, to blend out my contour or um, my highlight or anything like that. I think I'm just gonna strictly use it for um, foundation. But yeah, it was nice to see that it would work with, um, you know, your highlight, contour, anything like that. I mean, that's pretty amazing, especially for the price that it is. It better work for like so many things, so. I thought I would go ahead and try that out for you guys and let y'all know how I thought about that. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back and I'll give you my final review on this little brush. So, I'm back and I did all of my makeup, you know, my highlight, blush, lips, everything is done. And, I mean, I have not seen my face. I mean, I don't want to say that it has not looked this false, but I mean, the difference... I would, I'm going to do a comparison of this with a regular brush and show you the difference because I feel like there's a huge difference in how my makeup looks, like the foundation of it, and I just want to show you the difference. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in right now so you can see how smooth and flawless this really does look. I mean, look at how smooth it all looks. I mean, I have like an acne scar here, I have freckles, I have like some discoloration, but it makes but it makes my skin just look so smooth. I am like so in love with this brush and what it's done. And there's my contour. It looks really nice and blended, just like when I did it with the brush. Um, you can see here on my forehead, it just looks really smooth and nice. Um, right here is where I had a little pimple. It's kind of going away. And it covered it up pretty well. I didn't even put concealer or anything on. You can just kind of see it right there still, but it did a really good job of covering it up. But I am just amazed at how my whole entire face looks so smooth and airbrushed. I mean, y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all see what I see. But I mean, look at how beautiful this looks. So my final review and first impression of this is I freaking love this. I mean, I suggest everybody go and get one of these. If you're going to try out this brand at all, I would suggest the Oval 7. This is like probably a staple that you want to have. This is definitely going to be a staple I am going to use every single day, especially since I love how it just made my makeup look. It is amazing. I am so in love with this. I love this brush. It's the perfect size. The grip on it is so like just comfortable and it makes it so easy especially because it's kind of got a little you know dip right here it's so easy and comfortable it's really really light i really wish i got the gold one but i think the gold ones only come in that huge pack that was like 300 something dollars and i wasn't about to buy that when i haven't even tried the brand at all so this i mean i might just go ahead and invest in that i don't know but i'm so excited to keep using this it is Literally, I'm just blown away by how well this works and how well my makeup looks right now. I think everybody should have one of these or try it out. It's amazing. And yeah, if you like these kind of videos where we do first impressions, please leave a comment down below or like this video and we will keep doing those. I have plenty of new things that we have to be able to do these kind of. Just comment down below and I'll go ahead and do that for you. I'll do like a little slash tutorial slash first impression video so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video again if you did please give us a thumbs up let us know what kind of videos you like to see you know comment down below or on our instagram or anything like that we love hearing about what y'all want to see and i think that's about it so we will see you in our next video bye guys